Let's all meet on our mat. Wide stance, hands open, feet open, just starting with a standing meditation to enter our practice together. Closing your eyes, breathing deeply, seeing how your body feels today, seeing how deep you're breathing, the movement of your breath through your nose to your belly, and the same movement on the way out. Just connecting to your body for a moment. Doing a little body scan, seeing if you feel any tension or how your posture is today, if you feel like a bit slouchy or if you're super extended and open to the world. Just observing your body without any judgment. Today we're doing big booty yoga. So in your standing meditation, just take a moment to be aware of your glutes, of your gluteal muscles, the muscles in your seat. You know, just scanning them lightly. They help us with our stability in our hips, in our stance. So even now in the standing meditation, you should feel them a little bit active. Especially if you're in a more of a wide angle stance. Slowly open the eyes. Let's begin just a little warm up of the body before we go into some deep postures. Rolling out the head, releasing any tension from the neck, circling in one direction and the other direction. Coming into the shoulders, circling the shoulders backwards. Try to enter here with your whole body, feeling this movement all the way from your feet, bending in the knees. Almost like a mini squat here while we're going deep into the shoulders. And the other direction. Place our hands in our hips. Just add some circular motions here. Try to really focus this movement on your hips and on your glutes. Almost like you're belly dancing. All in the hips here. You should feel your glutes contracting when you come forward and releasing when you open back. And the other direction. In our stance now, we'll lift our right knee, just circle it out, already working here on balance and strength in your standing left leg. Also warming up the mobility in your right thigh and right hip joint. Change direction of the circle. Coming back to center. Still standing mostly on our left leg. We're just gonna open and close the right leg. Flex in the right foot. Active right leg. Just working on that range of motion coming out from the body. Close, let's switch legs. Coming onto your right leg now, lifting in the left knee, circling the knee around. Feel free to move as slowly or as fast as you please to help maintain your balance in your right leg. You should see even just from this exercise which leg is your dominant balancing leg. Just as an observation to be aware of your body. Change the circle direction. Drop the leg and let's start opening and closing. Flex in the left foot. 
Still breathing deeply. And come back to center. Let's enter our first posture here just to get us familiar. Coming into tree pose, something I'm sure we all know. Standing on our left leg, bringing the right leg up towards our inner thigh if you need to lower the variation to your calf muscle or to the ground. You can do that as well. If you're with me, we're on our inner thigh. Just take a moment, bring your hands to heart center and feel this tree posture. So normally in our tree posture, we would be pressing our foot up against our thigh to keep this, maintain this control in our posture, activating all the muscles in the legs. Today we're gonna to do a little bit something different, a little variation to make sure we're super active in the glutes. And slowly release the connection between your foot and your leg. You can stay flexed or pointed, but make sure the leg is completely active in this tree variation. Deep breath, make sure the leg stays up high and it's still open. Inhale, slowly lift the hands up. Palms together, and once your palms reach together, try to find a little bit more length. Don't lose the height of your leg. Exhale, slowly release. Release the leg, let's switch sides. Balancing on your right leg now, we're gonna lift the left leg into our tree pose variation, just to feel familiar. Hands come to heart center. Focus on that one point on the floor, on the wall in front of you. It helps you feel more balanced, your drishti, your one-pointed focus. And slowly start to release the bind between your foot and your standing leg. Maintaining that height in the leg, that openness in the leg as well. Flex or point to make sure that the leg is super active. <sighs> Take a deep breath here. Inhale, slowly bring the hands up. When the palms get together, find a little bit more length in your spine. And slowly exhale, release. Nice. Coming to the top of your mat, big toe to big toe. Inhale, drop down into a chair pose, dropping the hips. Looking forward or towards your hands, up to you. And make sure you're pressing your legs against each other, making sure your legs are completely active. You can still see your toes, so the hips should be scooting back as if you want to sit on a chair behind you. Let's hold here for five deep breaths. Drop a little bit more. You can do it. Inhale, come up, straighten the legs, look towards your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'm gonna go into chair pose again with a little variation. Inhale, the hands up, come up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, start to sink down into your chair pose while you're on your tippy toes. A little bit more activation in the legs here. And now we're gonna start pulsing. Little pulses, micro lifts, bouncing in the knees. Breathing still, make sure you're still breathing deeply. Still on your tippy toes. Bounce a little bit lower. And release, inhale, the hands come up, straight legs. Exhale, we're gonna come down to our forward fold and swing our hands behind us into diver's pose. A little variation of forward fold. If you want more of a challenge here, you can also come onto your tippy toes in this posture. I'm gonna take five deep breaths here in our diver's pose. Hmm.
The hands are shooting up behind you. Active fingers, spread those fingertips. On your tippy toes, maintaining your balance, activating your whole leg, both of them in your diver's pose. <sighs> Drop the hands towards the ground. Walk the feet back to place. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Drop the body towards the ground. Inhale, we're gonna come into Cobra with one leg lifted. So our whole body on the ground, lift the right leg up. And inhale into Cobra. A little variation activating here the right glutes. Make sure you're still pushing in the hands, shoulders away from the ears. Drop the leg down, exhale, downward dog. Take a moment here in your downward dog. Walking out the legs, maybe wagging your tail. And drop down to a tabletop position. Just dropping the knees to the ground from your downward dog. From here, we're gonna come into a fire hydrant movement. Lifting the right knee up in line with your hips. Be, you should find a 90 degree angle between your left leg and your right leg. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knee back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Couple more at your own pace. You can move faster, opening and closing. Or slower. You can even hold the fire hydrant if that's what you prefer to do today. deep breaths for an extra challenge in your fire hydrant you'll straighten out that right leg all the way towards the right and keep going lifting the right leg up up to your hip height and dropping still connecting the movement to your breath Come back to center slowly. And we'll do a tiger movement here. Inhaling, the right leg comes up in the direction of foot to head. You can also do this with a straight leg if you prefer, or bent. Either way, it's activating the glutes. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. Keep going, a couple more at your own pace. And slowly come back to center, let's switch sides. Bringing your weight onto your right knee now. And again, if you need any, not again, but if you need any support for your knees, you can always place a towel or a small pillow for extra cushion. Gonna lift that left knee up, 90 degrees in the legs, hip height. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Again, choose to move at your own pace here, faster or slower, before we move into the more challenging variation. Slowly bring out that left leg towards the left side, straight out, and keep going with this more challenging variation if you want, or you can keep going with that left leg bent. Couple more. Deep breaths. And slowly come back to center. Coming into our tiger movements. Inhale, left knee comes up. Make sure you're not opening the knee outwards. The direction is up. And you can either come in the direction head to foot or just shoot that leg straight up. Up to you. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to neck. Inhale. Exhale. Going at your own pace, faster or slower. 
You got this. And slowly come back to your tabletop. Inhale up to your plank. Just picking up the knees from your tabletop pose, coming onto the tops of your toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Drop the body towards the ground. Inhale into your co one-legged cobra with the other leg up, the left leg. Inhale up. Active left glute. Shoulders away from the ears, look up. Tuck the toes under, exhale, downward dog. Again, taking a moment here in your down dog. Let those glutes release, shaking them out. Feel free to twerk if you wish. That also counts. <laughs> Look forward, inhale, walk the feet. Big toe to big toe, long straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Nice, we're gonna stay in our forward fold for a moment. Inhale, the right leg comes up into standing split. Nice, from here we're gonna come into Shiva squat. What does that mean? We're gonna bend the right knee and squat in our standing left leg until our right leg crosses over our left leg from behind. Should look something like this if you didn't get what I said, you can look up. And inhale back up. Standing split. Exhale, cross. Inhale up. Exhale, cross. Keep going your own pace. Make sure you're connecting your movement to your breath. Slowly let's meet in our forward folds to switch sides. Inhale, left leg comes up, standing split. Exhale, bend the left knee, cross over from behind of the right leg and squat in the right standing leg now. Inhale up, exhale, cross. Inhale up, Shiva squat. Let's do this. <laughs> Couple more. And let's meet in our forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastitihi. Rest. Let's open up our feet a little bit wider than hips distance. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, lowering down into our yogi squat. In our yogi squat, make sure that your feet are in line with your knees. Elbows are between the knees to help open them up and find this nice long posture here. Take a moment here and close your eyes. Just catch your breath for a moment. Press into your feet, feel rooted and grounded in your posture. Take a moment, let's add a little bit of a twist just to release a little bit more. Drop the right hand down in between your knee, open towards the left hand up, coming into a gentle twist in our yogi squat. Switch sides. Coming back to center, hands in between the knees. Look for that long spine, open heart, shoulders back. Inhale, we're gonna lift so that our hips are in line with our knees. 
Your hips should be in line with your knee, your thighs should be flat, as if you could place something on it and it wouldn't fall off. Try to find this nice long spine here, open heart, even in this pose. Three deep breaths. You can do it. Three, and let's slowly lower back down. Take a deep breath. And let's go in again. Lifting up, hips in line with your knees. Three deep breaths. And slowly lower down. Deep breath. Last one. Inhale up. You got this. Three deep breaths. Open that heart. Long spine. And slowly lower down and sit on the ground. Let's bring our hands behind us, like one hand away from your hips. We'll come into a reverse plank for five breaths. Inhale, lift up in the direction that you want your toes to touch the ground. Head can release back and push those glutes up, get your hips up towards the sky. Five deep breaths. Slowly lower down. Bring your feet together. We'll come into Baddha Konasana. Bound angle. I'll do it to the side first so you can see the variation we're going to do today. Inhale, the hands will come up. Finding that nice long spine. Exhale, lean forward and stop halfway. Finding this active bound angle pose instead of normally when we just Collapse down and release in the body. Stopping halfway, active legs, active spine. Five deep breaths. Inhale, come up. Look towards your hands. Let's go in one more time. Exhale, lower down halfway, maybe a bit lower. Five deep breaths. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the hands down. And let's come onto our backs. Gonna come into bridge pose, except we're gonna do alternating leg, one-legged bridge pose. So just finding your base for a moment. Legs should be hips width, facing forward, parallel to each other. The head is relaxed, neck is relaxed in the neutral position. Hand by your hips. Inhale, lift the right leg and your hips at the same time. Press into that left leg. Exhale, lower down. Feet back to the ground. Inhale, switch sides. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Right leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Left leg. Exhale, down. Keep going at your own pace. Standing leg when you rise up. And release back to center. Inhale, come into a regular bridge. Lifting the hips up as high as you can. Squeezing the glutes here. For the purpose of strengthening them. And slowly bend the right leg and lift the foot, bringing the knee to your chest. 
Inhale. Exhale, lower the foot and toe tap your big toe on the ground, not placing the whole foot. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, toe tap. Couple more at your own pace. Try to maintain this nice level hip here. No sinking in the hips. I know that right hip wants to drop, but you got this. Couple more. And let's switch sides. Coming back to your neutral bridge. Lifting the left knee to your chest. Making sure your hips are nice and aligned. No sinking in the left hip. Inhale, exhale, toe tap. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, toe tap. Couple more, you got this. I believe in you. We're in this together. And slowly lower down, releasing your whole back on the ground. Let's come into a deeper climb twist here, straightening the legs. We'll take the left knee to our chest, squeezing for a moment, and bringing that left knee over towards the right side until the knee hits the ground. Left hand opens up shoulder height and look towards your left hip. <sighs> Completely releasing, relaxing into this posture, our last posture before Shavasana. We really embrace this deep twist here in the whole back. You can also feel it in your glutes a bit. Connecting here with the lower back. Slowly come to center. Straighten out the body. Hug that right knee towards your chest for a moment. And we'll switch over, bringing the right knee all the way to the left side until the knee hits the ground. Opening that right arm into shoulder height. Look towards your right hand. Hmm. Just close your eyes, release into your deep recline twist. back to center and let's find our Shavasana. Opening the legs as wide as the mat or wider if that's comfortable for you. If you have any lower back pain you can keep the legs bent and the feet will be as wide as the mat. Knees will come in towards the center making a nice big space here in the lower back. So it's up to you in those variations or any other variation you want to do at home. Just release into the ground. Just taking this one minute here to heal our bodies, to connect with our breath, to properly finish our practice together. Just feel like you're melting in towards the ground. Only thing moving here is your belly rising and falling with every breath. Make sure everything else is relaxed, even all the little muscles in your face. The space in between your eyebrows, your ears, your cheeks. Everything relaxed.
Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Or you can slowly start to meet me in a comfortable seat. Using your hands to help you find your way back up. Keep your eyes closed for as long as you can. Just feeling the circulation flow back through your body as you sit up. <clears throat> Returning to your normal breath. Feeling deeply relaxed and also worked out. <laughs> Bring your hands back to the heart center. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste to you all. Bye. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'm here for everything. Thanks.